Uh, hello everyone and welcome. Uh, in this video we are going to see yet another approach when it comes to working with XML files from your own application. Uh, in one of my previous videos I demonstrated how to use XML uh, data binding wizard uh, in the combination with uh, the XML document component. But now we are going to see how to use XML mapper tool and uh, it will uh, help us to treat XML document as a data set and that will uh, enable us to work with XML files much easier than uh, with the XML data binding wizard code. So in order to use XML mapper you need to go to the tools menu and uh, choose XML mapper but uh, by default uh, it will probably use the uh, old version of XML mapper so I would suggest that you go to the get it package manager and uh, find XML mapper inside and uh, as you can see uh, this is the XML mapper version 28 and it's installed already uh, uh, I installed it previously and uh, I suggest that you install uh, this new version as well and then go to the tools uh, XML mapper okay and this is the uh, XML mapping tool okay so what we are uh, trying to do with this tool is to map the XML document uh, so that it can be used as a data set inside our application uh, in order to do that first I'm going to uh, open uh, the XML document and as you can see this is uh, our XML document it's uh, here as well it's pretty much the same document that we used in our previous video uh, when working with XML data binding wizard open and once I opened it I see now that uh, he automatically recognized the root element and the uh, repeating contact elements and each of those elements uh, uh, has a uh, these attributes and I can see uh, also data inside if I want to a uh, schema view um, with data types and so on and so on so pretty much um, yeah, he automatically recognized the structure of the XML and uh, what I need to do first is to create data packet from XML that's my first step uh, that data packet from XML will enable me to read the XML document inside my application meaning to represent it as a pretty much a data set and then in order to write uh, to XML document uh, in the next step I will create XML from data packet okay I'll explain both uh, on the way uh, and uh, first now I want to create a data packet from XML so uh, I am able to read the data from XML and uh, to do that first I need to select which nodes do I want to work with from inside the XML uh, do I want to work with all of those or just some of those right and uh, I'll simply say select all uh, enable in order to be work with all of those nodes and uh, once I have that now I am uh, able to create a data packet from XML and as you can see he prepared here a data client uh, client dataset structure which uh, has some name second name address and phone as and you can see uh, the data types that he uh, automatically uh, suggested and uh, uh, length that uh, he uh, determined uh, you can uh, say uh, you can save uh, this transformation into a file and later uh, uh, Ch change for example max length uh, manually inside the file if you want to but uh, once we have created this data packet from XML okay meaning the uh, client data set structure we can now use this button here that says create and test transformation and once I click this uh, I have another window here and pretty much uh, it shows us what we got if you look at this uh, XML document it has two contacts uh, meaning here we have two rows and each of those contacts its name second name address and phone is uh, inside the separate columns here so that's what we want to achieve uh, by using this uh, mapping tool what we want is to be able to uh, represent all uh, data from XML as a data set with rows and columns and once we for example change something here that it is automatically reflected inside the XML document uh, well uh, this is our first step uh, we created a, a data packet from XML and now we need to save that transformation 
okay once we created it we need to save that transformation and uh, this is two data packet okay two data packet transformation that's one and once I have this transformation okay I will just uh, uh, close everything and I will open that transformation not the XML document but the transformation to data packet okay and uh, pretty much what I want now is uh, to be able to write into XML document and uh, for that I need to create another transformation and that is not data packet from XML but XML from data packet so in this case I need to create uh, a different uh, uh, transformation so I'll click here and this window appears and it says okay so what is the root element root element is the phone book and what is the row element uh, is the contact okay and create okay create and test so phone book pretty much okay contact phone book. okay and uh, what I uh, what I'm going to do now I'm going to save that uh, create and test transformation okay and I'm going to save that transformation and this time it's uh, to XML transformation okay so uh, what did I just do uh, I first I created a data packet from XML transformation and saved it to a file that will enable me to read the uh, XML document and then I uh, opened that transformation and uh, uh, created a XML from data packet transformation which will uh, enable me to uh, write into XML file and uh, pretty much I'm done with this XML mapping tool I don't need anything else so my job uh, in this mapping tool is to create two, trans uh, two transformations one of uh, two uh, data packets like I said that will enable me to read a file and a second to XML that will enable me to write into a file so um, now I'm going to uh, add a uh, database grid component I'm going to add a data source uh, and uh, client data set component um, I can also uh, use uh, FireDuck mem table as well uh, I'll let you try that yourself and um, in order to use uh, th those previously uh, created uh, transformation files I need to use XML uh, transform provider component here so I'll place it uh, on the form here and now um, when I select this uh, component I have a transformation read so in order to uh, uh, read from XML file I'll choose the two uh, data packet okay and in order to write into XML file I'll choose to XML transformation file and the XML uh, XML data file uh, where the data will be stored is the uh, or read from is the contacts XML okay and pretty much that's done and I'm going to say contact uh, a client uh, data set uh, uses the uh, XML transform provider one and activate it and then a data source uses the client data set and that uh, uh, data source is used to view data from a grid and now well you see uh, I have uh, all the data from the XML file uh, in a database grid and as you can see I have here name second and address and phone columns uh, I have two rows because there are two contacts in the XML file and uh, if I run this application now uh, pretty much works uh, uh, in a read uh, only mode meaning it is a client, client data set uh, so everything that I do here will not reflect in a, in a file because uh, client data set as the name suggests uh, is, is nothing but a, a data set in memory so it's not uh, connected uh, to a disk so all changes are just in a memory in order to uh, save all those changes to a disk I need to uh, call apply updates function or method uh, so if I click a button here I'll just say uh, client data set one apply updates uh, minus one I don't want any errors here 
Um, so if I go here, so this is my XML document. As I can see, it is read correctly. If I change from uh, John to AAA, uh, again, it's only in memory, but if I apply updates and go here, he uh, automatically recognized that that XML file has been changed. And uh, well, as we can see, our first contact name is now AAA. And if I change back to John uh, and click here, it works, right? So I can add another uh, record uh, name uh, or just Anna ABC something and something here. If, if I click the button here, reload, and he automatically add a new record. And of course, if I click Control Delete and save everything, that record is deleted. And uh, what we have here is an easy way now to uh, work with XML files because you are not uh, uh, needed to work with XML data binding wizard to have so much code generated for your XML document. Uh, you have only one line of code and in this case it's uh, just to uh, apply updates to save those um, uh, uh, changes back uh, to XML uh, document and uh, there you go I hope you find this simple and and useful because it can speed up your uh, uh, application development when working with XML files uh, thank you for watching and see you soon